are you? I know it's been a long time since I vlogged last, but I am going to be. But anyways, let's just move forward from there. Today was amazing. So several life-changing events. I am going to be moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving out of my parents' yeah. house. I'm moving out. And there's several reasons why, but I think I'll like do a sit down video about that subject. Cause it's kind of tied to other reasons more than just, I want my own space. It's not, it's not just that. But anyway, so I'm moving out, I'm moving out. And um, yeah, you'll be seeing my new place where I'll be moving to. And that will be a very interesting video. I'm preparing for that because I have to do a few things. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know, guys. I want you guys to be surprised. So, we'll see. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Hi. So, Naomi is at my sister's house. Um, now that COVID has disappeared. What a, what a miracle. COVID is just, just gone. But anyway, I always had my feelings about covid but anyway we're not even going to get into it because it's all conspiracy stuff and i'm a big big conspiracy girl about a lot of things so i'm just here um i'm making myself some rice well not myself this is for jordan making some rice my mom made some curry chicken and stuff like that so um yeah that, that's it really hi jordan hi what you doing? Oh, he's watching. Oh, he's watching. Ken. Is it isn't Kevin your friend? Yeah, I, I've met him before. When yeah. am I gonna see him? Wow. Um, I don't know when I take you to America. If we ever get to go there ever again. So oh, let's just chat. Either. Of course, the world is in. No, no, I wouldn't say. But it feels so strange. It feels like. There's a like war and it's not like a physical natural war. I mean it is, but on a on a grand scale, it's more of like a spiritual war. And it's um I guess it's always been going on around us in terms of being being black and the oppression and all that stuff, the system. So it's always been there. And so now we're just kind of seeing the manifestation of something that's always existed, you know, below the surfaces. And so it's coming to the, to the forefront and I'm happy about that. But I also feel torn about it because I feel like there's being woke, like actual woke. And then there's like not woke. There's like fake woke and real woke. Comment down below if you get what I'm actually saying. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like there's there's those two things. So I do, like, I would like everyone to be real woke. But it's one of those things where it's like, you can't be taught to be really woke. It's hard to fully understand the wokeness, you know? And even when you start to understand the wokeness, it just feels so unbelievable. Like, it feels like, it sounds too crazy, but you have to believe it. I mean, money has a lot to do with it. Um, race has a lot to do with it. You know what I mean? The elite 1%, that whole thing, you know, it's real. Anyways, those who know, you know. If you know, you know, okay? So yeah, comment down below. Well, anyway, um, I'll be going outside very shortly, and I'm going to take you guys with me. I might have to pick Naomi up for my sisters, so I guess we might see her later. Oh, my God. We should visit my dad. Okay, let's go visit my dad. Yeah! Oh, my God. Stanley! Ah! Yeah, man. So, what's going on? Yeah, so right now, they you know, got the hospital, and they woke me up. Right. So, recently, my, my father was involved in an in a car accident so he has been negatively affected 
Mm -hmm. So he's undergoing one of these tests. I don't really get it though. So they monitor your heart throughout the day? Yeah, mm -hmm. they said me have a minor strokes, MC. Oh yeah, I remember Two that. Minor but, yeah. strokes, right? Yeah, so, because when we get into the accident, my blood pressure go up like to 200 and maybe 70 over 200 and... Some crazy, so, crazy number. Yeah, some crazy number, man. Mm. I remember that day, like, when you went to the hospital, mm -hmm. you just felt like going. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like going. And the man was saying, man, the doctor was saying, who drive here? I said, drive myself. Oh, man. Can you believe that? Yes, I like, you know, I shouldn't God be, is real, like, I, hmm. I shouldn't be really alive, never mind talking about driving. Yeah, man, so. Anyways, God is good. That was it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're coming on now and decide to test me out. So I'm moving out, Dad. How do you feel about this? Yeah, that's all right. You should go on a long, long time, man. Get out of my way, man. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Are you crazy? Anyways, I'm hey, the hey. light of, of my father's life, though he will not acknowledge it. I won't force him to. Look at my beard, you see? I don't know. Is it, like, more white than ever before? No, so it's more. It's more what? Oh, it's big. Big, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a bit growing out of control. Yeah, What's we'll that all about? Yeah, we'll just keep it this way until corona gone. But okay, like... so if you shave it, then we'll get rid of corona. So shave it. Shave mm -hmm. it for us. Mm -hmm. Get rid of corona so that we can be free. Shave your beard and oh, corona oh, will oh, end. Oh. Yes, man. So I grow my beard this way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that looks fine, though. I mean, my mom was all like, "Cut your beard out! It's too long." But mm. who cares? Mm. Comment down below. Do you guys like the beard? Like, how do you feel about it? Mm. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm moving out. So um, I told them. Well, I'll tell. I'll show them my place in the next video. You guys want to <laughs> see? You guys are gonna want to see. It's gonna be really. Mm -hmm. Dad, it's not, it's not whether or not I would know you're there. You know I'm coming to see you. So mm -hmm. I'm the one who you are lucky to have in your life. No. <laughs> Jordan. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, Jordan? Jordan and Naomi. Yeah, that's the what? only thing. That's the only thing, They're man. the only valuable family members. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. But don't worry. Like, I'm still going to drop them off. Oh boy, man. They need they need a father. I mean a grandfather. Yeah. So I'm gonna drop them off here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um don't call me when I'm gone. Okay. That's alright. Can you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you just come and wake me up now, man. I don't know. Oh please, know what stop I'm trying saying. to sound like I came undisturbed. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you sure that heart monitor is going to do a good job at monitoring you? Like, you're just lying down. Yes, so what I'm saying. That doesn't tell me much. No, after two days, I have to bring it back. Oh, well, got to have it on for two days, eh? Yep, man. Comment down below. Have you guys ever had a heart monitor mm. on before in your life? Yeah. No. All right, yes. Anyways, yeah, so. Yeah, so the blogging, yeah, yeah, it's the color of my skin. Okay, so guys, is it growing back? Mm -hmm. You think? So listen, I am not a vitiligo fan, okay? This is how I feel. I'm not saying that you should be hard on yourself mm -hmm. if you have it, and I don't believe that people should treat people differently because they have it. But, in my opinion, I do feel like it, it limits certain aspects of your life. For example, going out in the sun is a dangerous thing to do because it can burn you. And so I feel like you do have to be extra careful. You have to wear long sleeves. You have to wear a hat. I don't, I mean, if I had the choice, I wouldn't want to have to be that careful to go in the sun or go outside or go to the beach, right? So it's mm. very, it can be, you know, a bit dangerous. So I would really just prefer his skin color, his melanin to return for that reason. He's Jamaican. He can't go to Jamaica and just he can't. He has to be in the shade or be can, very... You have to be very, very my... conscious and careful. I'm just saying, if you don't have to be conscious and careful, it would just be easier and it would just be like, you know, you wouldn't have to think about no, it. It's corona time. No, we can't go to Jamaica. God, stop talking that. That C word thing is over, okay? I'm not even going to give it life by using its mm. real name, okay? So anyway, 
I bought this um, UVB light for my dad because I saw a YouTube video about how you can um, like grow back the melanin with UVB light. So I bought it on Amazon for my dad and he's been using it. And so this is what he looks like now. And I do want to document any progress he's made. Also, they're saying that copper cream can um, help support melanin growth. So that's what we're trying to do right now, okay? So that's what I want him to do, at least on his face, right? So, you know, if he goes outside, he doesn't have to be that worried and he won't get burned. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, guys. doctor. Yeah, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Self-proclaimed doctor. By the way, look at these before and after photos of my son's back. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you he had a yeast overgrowth in his body? I'll leave the video down below for more information about when I was talking about it. But I started using oil of oregano on his skin. And his skin is night and day. Look at the difference, you guys. Mm -hmm. Look at that difference. So I'm telling you, these doctors, they only can prescribe something for the symptom, but they're not always trying to find out the source of some of our ailments. So that's that's pretty much that. Anyways, yeah. I've talked to you for long enough, okay? So say hi and bye. All right, fans, bye. Yeah, man, cool. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys that I... Me and my friend were making a budget today. I told you that. I don't know if I just said that or not. So about the budget, I feel like I cannot believe that I did not do this sooner. And it's almost like you don't know what you don't know. Because I didn't realize how helpful a budget could possibly be and how powerful it is. In my mind, I just spent it because I thought I could afford it or not afford it. You know what I mean? It was neither here nor there. And I feel if I'd known this when I was like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh my God, my life would have been in a totally different place. God. Anyway, so I encourage you guys to, you know, be financially literate and like, um, you know, keep track of your money and stuff like that it's so important and it's like the only way to be successful you know what i mean anyways that's pretty much all i wanted to say about that good night you guys so i did go for naomi but i got caught up because when i went for her i was talking to the neighbors and we were just chatting for so long and then it was dark because it was after eight and i wouldn't have been able to vlog in that lighting so she's home and we'll see her tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm home. Um, just took a shower and I just got out of my bed. I'm going to um, sleep. <laughs> well, I'm not going to sleep right now. I'm just going to do some computerish stuff. But but for you, I'm, I'm going to sleep. For y'all. As far as y'all know, I'm sleeping. <laughs> so um, that's it for today. I did not do my Espanol Hoy. Hoy means today. So, hoy, yo no español. I know Spanish. Anyways, it's, it's Spanish. I didn't do my Spanish today, so um, my Spanish teacher was um, messaging me like, um, hello, because we do Spanish every single day. But I'll pick it up tomorrow. So that is it for tonight, and um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Why do I keep doing this? I will see you on the morrows. Um, remember, keep in your prayers our black community, our brothers and sisters who are definitely fighting for change, change that we all really need. And um, yeah, okay, stay woke, everybody. Have a good night.